Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Well, since you're here, let me share with you the story of my 30 days of busking challenge and what I learned from it. So before I get into the story itself, let me tell you a bit about my background and the context that brought this challenge to me. At the end of 2019, I left the company I worked for and took advantage of having enough savings to start something I always wanted to do, start a musical career. I've been playing music for more than 14 years now and I already had made a challenge of 30 days of covers two years ago inspired by some personal development influencers. So willing to push myself again, that's quite naturally that I chose to start this adventure with a challenge, 30 days of street performance. At first I was a bit anxious of course to play in front of strangers that would likely completely ignore me and my music. So to ease that feeling I first made a test to see if that could work, if the amp was working fine etc. And I asked my girlfriend to come with me, she was very supportive, she helped me carrying my gear and film the performance. She also came after a while for the very first official day of the challenge. Hi everyone, this is the first day of my challenge. Not sure where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna find a spot that inspires me. I took my guitar with me and my amp, carried by uh, my beautiful girlfriend. Not sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. Five minutes after I started playing, one guy came to me to tell me that he was playing there before, showing me some red coins he left two meters away, basically asking me to get out. So I managed to negotiate an extra 15 minutes and then I packed my stuff and left. After walking that street several times the following month, I saw that he actually was playing there every day around the same time, so he probably wasn't playing. I earned one pound and 22 pence. <laughs> Even though making money wasn't the goal of the challenge, I thought seven pounds per hour were a realistic expectation. Around 200 pounds at the end of the month if I played one hour every day. So let me tell you that this first income was a hard slap back to reality. I was a bit uncomfortable because I didn't prepare any set of the music that I was gonna play. So I was improvising a lot and just playing the songs that came to my mind. More urgently, I had to bring an extra mic to record properly my live sessions. The sound of my camera being too bad with the wind and the noises of the street. The sound was pretty bad on the camera. I'll bring my mic this time, hope it will sound better. By the way, this is the gear I used for this challenge. So my guitar Gibson SG Standard, a sure mic. I don't even have a proper mic stand, so I'm using a music stand instead. My Boss RC30 loop pedal, Roland Street Cube amp, a Canon 700D camera to film, and my Zoom H2N mic that I placed in front of my amp to record the lives. So I didn't earn much. The session was shorter than I expected. Still, I was quite happy because I started. The next days to come faced me with a problem that I would have no control over, the weather. Hey guys, just came back from busking and I got caught in the rain. It's raining actually quite bad, look at this. Hey there. I guess you can imagine what just happened. The moment I arrived at the spot I wanted to busk, it started raining like heavily so i must admit that i was quite pissed off yeah but you know what can i do around 7 pm it's gonna stop raining so i'll go then it actually took me a few more days to take the habit to check the weather forecast before going out there is one positive thing about it though it reminded me of a cover i really liked and that i added to my set list rain by rob scallon <laughs> During this first week, I tried different places, but there was always some kind of problem going on. Hey guys, hope you're all right. I'm in Marble Arch right now. Hey guys, I'm in uh, Marble Arch again. I went in front of Selfridges and I started playing and there. I must admit, I feel fairly desperate. There is a guy basking already. It's raining already. Also, there is a kind of demonstration. It's a hang jump. 
played for one hour and a half. And in the end, it's a policeman that uh, told me to get out. He told me I could go somewhere else, but basically not in front of Selfridges. It was here that I wanted to bust today. It seems like I won't be able to. And with all these early difficulties, I already started to feel some lack of motivation. <sighs> I feel so lazy today. It's night and it's cold outside, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, you know. Complete this challenge. Let's go. So I pushed myself through laziness and tried to use those problems as opportunities. I think I'm gonna ask him if I can join him and, and see what he says. What's your name, by the way? Jacek. Jacek? Jacek. Nice yes. to meet you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Well, I was learning very quickly from this intense experiment and my incomes kept increasing slowly but surely. this one girl that passed and I was like oh yeah well that's really cool she stayed quite a while gave me some money and even asked her friend to to give me some more that actually made my day I also noticed that people giving money are usually quite young children and, and teens day number eight was a big breakthrough for me it was on Christmas Eve and I made my best income of the project today is the eighth day of the third day and it has been the most successful one so far I earned a bit more than 23 quids, including a tenner that one guy gave me after I took a picture with him. I was at the same spot than the sixth day. It seems like it's the best spot so far that I've been to. I also wore that little hat, very Christmassy, so I think that helped for sure. This boosted my motivation, not just because of the money, but because of an aspect that I actually did not anticipate, human warmth. As I was packing all my stuff, one guy uh, gave me uh, one uh, burger and uh, a Pepsi, <laughs> so that's nice too. I'm glad I had the chance to meet that many people. Uh, I feel really blessed for this experience, playing my music and just sharing good vibes with people. It really means a lot. Every time that someone started to film, I tried to engage more with the person and smile and going toward them, giving a little show. I felt that this worked quite well. This is the beginning of a whole new adventure for me, being a musician making a living out of it. I'm seeing the potential of how it can evolve and how I can make more connections with people and create a community around music. It gives me a lot of hope for the future and a lot of hope in humanity overall. Even in the street on my way to bus, I surprised myself chatting with strangers that were usually curious about the instrument I was carrying and that stopped me to ask questions that I would gladly answer. This taught me how important the interaction with your audience is and combined with the right spot, it would make me more and more comfortable performing outside. In my case, Marble Arch was the ideal place for me. It was next to Winter Wonderland, which is a big family-friendly event happening in Hyde Park, and that brings a lot of people every day. I was in Marble Arch again. Marble Arch. Marble Arch. Marble Arch. Marble Arch. I really think this spot is the greatest spot ever, especially during Winter Wonderland. At night, with the lighting and all, it is perfect. So I finally found my right spot to play. But every time I thought I figured out everything about busking already, there was always some kind of problem coming up that I would have to deal with and expanded my comfort zone, whether in terms of musical playing or human interactions. I'm just forced to go because there are some uh, people selling those uh, luminescent stuff. They were selling some glowing toys and they put some music like very loud. I tried to adapt and improvise some stuff that was in the same tonality or same rhythm than what they were playing. And I did it for some times, but at some point there was just like a clash of sound. It was very annoying. I felt quite pissed off to be honest. So I had to pack my stuff. And I came toward them and told them that the sound was too loud. So they were like, oh yeah, sorry, uh, you should have told us. But I didn't want to leave my stuff alone. They're on their way right now. I'm not sure if I should stay or go. I stayed for like one hour and a half anyway. My musical set started to sort itself out. I was improvising a lot and through experimentation and practice, I ended up finding some covers. Yesterday was a bit too much improvised. So today I checked the most popular songs on YouTube right now. One song caught my attention, which is Last Christmas. Okay. <laughs> I 
found some recurrent improvisation that soon became song that I would play regularly. And as I knew more precisely what to play, people started to stop longer, even sitting down on the benches around. I got to interact more with the audience and understand what works best. I started dancing and he gave me a five pound note. And it is something that I don't do a lot, but I definitely should, because it adds much more presence to the performance. But here is the thing, as time passes, fatigue starts to viciously set in. I'm going out every day, carrying my guitar in one hand, my amp in the other, my heavy bag on my back, and my arms and shoulders starts to get sore and sore. To be honest, I start to feel quite tired because I also have to take care of the editing of the videos, my Instagram posts, thumbnails for YouTube. So that is a lot to handle at the same time. So yeah, I'm glad it will end at some point because I wouldn't be able to do it forever. Some bad habits also came back into my life. I resumed smoking but the hardest time was still to come. Hey fellas, I came back to my favorite spot and uh, it's pretty much empty right now. Every good thing eventually coming to an end, Winter Wonderland finished and my favorite spot I got used to was now completely empty and I had to find a new one. I took this as a day off, staying only 15 minutes out and used the cool lighting of the empty space to make a quick music video. So it's already late and I didn't want to lose too much time searching for another place. So today I won't earn any money, but I will end up with a nice image. We are at the last third of the challenge and having to find another place again feels like starting all over again. The anxiety came back, same as it was on the first day, if not worse. It's strange because I got used to Marble Arch, but now that it's practically empty, I have to find another place and it really feels like I'm starting all over again. And even if I think that I play a little bit better than the first day, the stress and apprehension are pretty much the same than at the beginning of the adventure. In the next few days I will have to try some more stuff, different time and different places again. So I do feel like I'm getting out of my comfort zone here. And I struggled like this for a couple more days, but finally I found it. Wide side wall nearby a big clothing store, lots of pedestrians and enough space to stop, sit down, relax and enjoy the music. I had found the perfect spot. Some groups of girls sat down and watched the show, so once again I had a little audience that was nice. I felt quite intimidated. Of course I still had to come back and play there several times again to check if it was really the right spot, but I felt a little bit more secure. I also started to go out later in the evening, sometimes pushing it a little bit too far and having to play in mostly empty streets. But I was getting more insights about the time that works the best. And I found out that people tend to be more relaxed in the evening rather than just after work. Despite the fatigue that wasn't really going away, I started to follow some automatic behaviors that helped me through just getting out there following the habit. Before I went outside today, I was super tired and I went busking quite in an automatic way. But once I started playing, I actually really enjoyed myself. I went at the same spot than yesterday in front of Primark. It worked really well. I earned more than 14 quid. Once again, people were stopping, sitting down nearby so they could enjoy the concert. I had better results, more people were stopping by and giving some change and everything was finally going smoothly. But if there is one thing I've learned from all of this is to never take a good situation for granted. So guess what? The bad weather came back. Hey guys, right now it is raining, but I'm still gonna bust, see if it calms down maybe. Worst case scenario, I will just lay for 10 or 15 minutes. It rained a few days in a row and the wind blew harder than ever, leaving me just a short amount of time outside to play, usually not more than 15 minutes. And even though my incomes were quite good for such a short time spent in the street, if it went on like this for the next days to come, I would never reach my goal of gathering 200 pounds. I got really frustrated and I must admit a little bit depressed. I feel so frustrated right now. I stayed a very short time in the street, something like 15-20 minutes, because it was raining and it was so windy. It was the worst weather to bust. My mic was falling all the time, so I had to do without it at some point and then everything was just too much for me to go on so I left. <sighs> Despite this I had the time to make five quids and five quids in 20 minutes is good. I just 
Pray, please give me some good weather for the last three days to come. Otherwise, I'll be depressed for the rest of my life. So did the weather get better? Nope, it got worse. Hey guys, once again, it's way too windy and uh, rainy to pass. So yeah, I have to leave now. And on the 29th day, I was editing all day to upload my daily video online. And as I was about to go out, a heavy rain started pouring for the rest of the evening until the next morning. And I couldn't go out at all. I failed the challenge. I was confused and angry, angry at myself for not checking the weather forecast before going out, but I quickly resigned myself for I wasn't in control of the situation anymore and I had to let go. But the last day of the challenge was still to come and I could make this up. My final chance of reaching my goal and respect the 30 days 30 live session contract. To make sure that I still made 30 sessions of busking, today I busked twice. So I do consider the challenge as completed. The first busking session of today was around 2 p.m. and I made 9 quids 40 in one hour, which is good enough. And the second time I went out between 6.30 and 7.30 and I made 16.47 pounds. Woo! So it is quite a good day to finish this challenge. After that I could finally get some holidays. So why did I learn from all this crazy adventure? Only positive stuff? Certainly not. I was way too hard on myself and being tired and under pressure brought some bad habits into my life like resuming smoking and that habit sticked in even after the challenge for weeks. And so did my back and shoulder pain due to carrying my gear all day every day. But I learned a lot of useful stuff too. I internalized the main principles of busking that I compiled in my video 6 tips to start busking that you can find on my YouTube channel. I created a set list of what to play during my life performance, which is a mix of covers, original pieces, recurrent improvisation. I got way better at improvising, I increased my self-confidence and my ease to play in public, and best of all, I really enjoyed all the human contacts that this challenge had to offer. Now let's speak about money. Let's see how much I made today. So when I pack all my stuff, I remove every coin from the case and I put everything in this little space, and then I count. Here is today's money. So I actually exceeded my initial goal of 200 pounds. Then I went to the bank to change it for 20 pounds notes. I'm actually not keeping that money. From time to time, I take one note when I go out and I give it if I meet a homeless person. I decided to do this because I was playing in the cold winter of London. It's also quite cold outside. At the end of the session, my hands were literally freezing and I could not help but feel for those who have nowhere to call home to take shelter. As I'm shooting this video, I still have four pounds to give away. So in total I earned a bit more than 205 pounds. I'm quite happy with this result. The truth is I haven't busked ever since I did this challenge except one time during one travel in the holidays that followed. Because I actually wanted to focus more on paid gigs but then the coronavirus and the lockdown prevented me to do so. So if you liked this video and want to support my work you can send a donation via PayPal or in cryptocurrency. You can also also get access to extra exclusive content by supporting the channel on Patreon, link in the description. I'll just show your support for free by subscribing to the channel, like and share this video and leave a comment down below. I read them all and I would be glad to answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching this video until the end and I'll see you around. Peace. Hey fella, hey fellas, hey fellas, hey fella. Hi fellow musicians. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave, leave, leave a thumb up. Please leave a thumb up. Thumb up. Bop, 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 bop. Hello. How are you? It looks very comfortable. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm uh, shooting a video right now. Sorry, Mr. Biden. Oh, yeah, don't worry. <laughs>